everyone. I am getting my sneakers on. I'm going for a walk this morning. It's around like 8 a.m. right now. I really do enjoy walking. I need to get some ankle weights. I used to have some in LA. Honestly, I definitely felt a difference walking with ankle weights, but I did look like an idiot <laughs> or like a suburban mom, but fine. <laughs> anyway, I have these sneakers for like 35 years basically, so I need to get some new ones soon, maybe. Anyway, I am going for my stroll. I need to find my headphones. Um, my outfit is the leggings are from Lululemon. Top underneath Lululemon. This cropped sweatshirt is from, wait for it, it's from uh, Aritzia. Aritzia, and I got the matching sweats as well. grocery store because I have no food so got a bunch of stuff but the funniest thing happened so I was walking and I when I go on walks I don't bring my full purse or my full wallet but I kept my credit card I put it in like a little with a little slot in the Lulu leggings like there's a little spot to put like a card or keys so I put my card in there and I always like tell myself I should just use Apple Pay and not like do that but some places don't take Apple Pay so anyway, I had it in there and I was, I took it out, I guess, to use it in Whole Foods and then put it back in. I guess I didn't do a good job of putting it back in my leggings. And so it fell out of my leggings, like on the street, I guess, at some point from Whole Foods, which is kind of a trek for me. So I don't know <laughs> where it was found, but this guy starts yelling, hey, hey, and is like chasing me down the street. And I had just listened to a crime podcast, okay, on my walk. So I was like, oh my God, I'm about to get murdered in broad daylight on a Monday in New York City. This is the end. I'm holding my whole kids back. I can't fight back. And turns out the guy was just chasing me down the street because my credit card fell out of my leggings onto the ground. And this man chased me down the street to give it back to me. Like how? There are some good people left in this world. He could have just taken it. Like, I mean, I'm sure he has his own credit card, but who knows? Um, anywho, that was like my good little like karma. Well, I didn't get good karma, but he got good karma for the morning. So now I have to pay it forward, don't I? Gotta do something good. Anyway, but I went grocery shopping. I got very like basic things, just all the things that I have on that list I was talking to you guys about. I don't remember if I talked in detail about this, but my friend Allie, who is a dietitian or studying to be a dietitian gave me a list of foods. So I've just been working off her list. Maybe I'll share the list with you guys at some point. But I got, yeah, pretty basic stuff. I think the only like new things I got was this. So I saw these in the dairy section and I was intrigued. They're Oatly Oat Gerts. So they're oat milk yogurt. I'm not a huge fan of yogurts with fruit in them. Like they have to like mix. It kind of like grosses me out sometimes, truthfully, but Let's see, I don't know. So for the sake of editing and you guys knowing what's up, I'm gonna show you guys some clips that I took yesterday. So today's Monday, yesterday was Sunday. And yesterday some girls from Twice as Organized came to organize my space. So all my clothes are neatly folded, perfectly organized for the first time in my entire life. So I wanna share with you guys the clips that I took yesterday because I don't know about you, I love organizing content, so I think it could be fun. So anyway, roll the clips, editing Katie, let's see it. All right guys, today is the day that we tackle what I've been calling the mountain, which is just all my clothes that have been just sitting in suitcases since I moved in. So I have some girls coming today to help me organize everything you see here. So 
I kind of did my best to lay it all out and they're gonna tell me what I need to do to make this less of a disaster. And I wanna show you guys some just like before shots. And then of course also we'll show the process, we'll show the after of everything so nicely organized. Closet is looking like this. Um, I'm gonna keep the hangers I already have since I have a bunch of them. I did my best to clear out a ton of stuff but I still do have a lot. I have just some random shoes up there that need to be put places. So lots of storage up here though, luckily, which is nice. So I'm assuming they're gonna do some sort of bin situation up here or like roll some stuff, I'm not really sure. It's super dark over here, but I have this other closet here with my coats and um, bathrobes, stuff like that, and my purse is up there. Here's a little bird's eye view of all the stuff we need to put away. It's really not as much as I thought, I think that it'll be pretty easy to organize everything, but we shall see. socks, bras, and then bralettes, sports bras. Okay. Lie down, you go half, half, then you fold it and then you tuck in. PJs, so it just saves you space by putting all the pants together and then these are all your PJ tops. Wow. And then that's the pillowcase, because you still have room. A little here. space. Even I guess, here, there's still like, you can fit like at least a top or two. That's good. Let's see, wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that, it looks like a store. <laughs> dresses from light to dark, and then in the back are all your- The maxi, floor. Yeah, and I have a lot of those, yeah. It's looked by like floral, um, polka dots, stripes, then like miscellaneous, and then all your sequins are in the back. Oh, amazing, okay, cool, and the shoes, okay. And then on top the you jeans. see sweaters, those are all your sweaters, right. by color, and then your denim. Awesome. Your... So in here we have your leggings. It so like looks like black. I ordered them for that. <laughs> like, <laughs> looks so nice. And this is more of like your colorful ones. So yeah, even if like no one will know it's leggings. Yeah. It's just like a cute yeah. basket. And then in here are basically all your like sweats for the most part. Wow. So you have all your sweatshirts on top and on the bottom are your sweatpants and you had one extra sweatshirt. Okay. Here you have long sleeve tops and then a few short sleeves and tank tops. And then your bags are just My there bags? for now. Okay, so we're back in present day. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys my media console. I was so dramatic about it over on Instagram. Like I posted probably like 15 story slides about this thing because I get obsessed with furniture these days. I don't know. I just like was drooling over this when it was brought in the door. So this is the Blake gray wash media console. I think that's what it's called. 68 inch from Crate and Barrel. It says it's a gray wash, which I think is a lie because I don't see very much gray at all. I do see some like rustic parts of it where it looks a little bit like a hint of gray, but like literally only these two little spots. So beware if you're buying it, it's really not gray. It's more of like a chestnut, whatever this color brown is. <laughs> it's like more of like a golden kind of, um, I'm at a loss for words right now, but just really not so gray. It's beautiful. We have, obviously I showed you guys all of the clothes inside, super organized. What I like about this in particular is you can't see through the panels because in past things I've had like this, you can see clothes through the panels or just like anything that's behind it and it just like looks kind of tacky. So this piece is very well made, gorgeous. Now I just have to get a TV to put on top. It's a 68 inch console. So I'm thinking like a 55 inch TV could fit here or yeah, cause I don't want it to be like too big, not too small because the couch is like decently close. I don't know, I'm thinking like 55 inch. So that is coming next. Just looks really beautiful in the space. I'll back up a little bit. Um, it looks really nice in here. Got a lot of traffic out there this morning. Good morning, New York. I'm 
finally on board with the phone charm, phone beads trend. Sorry for all the noise outside, it's like really loud on the road out there today, but um, these charms were made by a friend, well a new friend from the internet, so I'll link her in the description of this video so you guys can see. She also made me these lovely bracelets, so yeah, bracelets, little charm, I love how it's just like very neutral. It goes with my phone case. My phone case is from Orion Carlotto's collaboration with Case Defy. So I got that. I have it in this little nook there. You could tie it. I just had mine stuck in there because I want it to be more like flush with the case. I'm weird and very specific. I guess I joined the trend. I really do love this. I just think it's fun just to like hold your phone like this. There's an extra little like support if you are clumsy like me, but I'm not really gonna hold my phone like from this. It's just more for show, which kind of sounds silly, I know, but it just like looks fun. It brings me joy, okay? If it sparks joy, if it brings joy, do it. I just tried talking, like I literally just tried to speak to you guys and my voice came out as like a croak because I haven't spoken out loud in like five hours. Like I've just been like emailing, doing stuff digitally, like have not spoke, but feel like I've spoken, you know, because I have, I've like written my, my words, but I haven't opened my mouth to speak. Anyway, I'm gonna burn my pizza, but I keep talking, but cauliflower pizza. I really fell in love with cauliflower crusts living with my most recent roommates. And I was really excited to find this one at Whole Foods. Um, and it said on the thing, like I don't need to put a pan under it, so I just put it right on the rack. And I'm not sure if that's like advisable, but it said it on the, the box, so um, must be fine. So here we have it, the full cauliflower pizza. I'm going to cut it into slices. It's a really great source of protein, gluten-free. I'm not personally dieting or restricting myself in any way, shape, or form, but I do just love cauliflower. Like, I really, truly do, so. My honest pizza review, this is very good. So it's the four cheese cauliflower. That's the funniest name, cauliflower pizza. Okay guys, so it's a new day. I'm getting ready to go see my trainer. I'm wearing this Free People movement top, I have it in a few different colors. I just got these new Lululemon aligns that are like super, super high-waisted. I'll link them below. I really love how they're just like extremely high-waisted. So at the gym when I'm lifting or doing anything, I don't have to worry about anything popping out. <laughs> so. so I'm eating that Oatly yogurt that I was talking about. Um, I actually really like it. It kind of tastes like adult tricks yogurt. I'm a really picky texture person. I don't like when something has weird texture or is like has a lot of like bits of things. Truthfully, I do not feel this has a lot of unnecessary texture. It's just like there's just fruit in the bottom, which I've mixed in. It tastes really good. So this one, mixed berry gets Katie's stamp of approval. I'm very picky when it comes to yogurt. This is another day in the life of yours truly. All right, I'm gonna be late, so <laughs> let's go. Okay guys, so my coffee table came. I was not expecting this today, but here it is. I literally ordered this maybe four days ago and it's already here, so thank you Urban for being super punctual. So since I have a low couch, I needed to make sure the coffee table wasn't too much higher than the couch because it would look silly, so I measured it and made sure that this would be perfect, and it is. I like how all the woods kind of match, like they don't fully go together like completely perfectly, but I like that. So the coffee table is a perfect height. I'm sitting on the couch right now and it feels not too high, not too low. It's kind of perfect. I love the shape of it. I love the fun base. I love how interesting it is. I know a lot of you guys were like, go with a glass table and I fully was like, nope. <laughs> I mean, I really did consider a glass table. I just didn't find anything that I loved that was the right height and also I just considered the fact that I'd have to 
like Windex it all the time or do whatever you do with glass like and it would look smudgy and like fingerprints and like this is much more durable for dinner and like if I'm having people over to like eat Chinese food or something like I'm not gonna worry about this table getting super gross because like it looks pretty durable and it's pretty decent size. I didn't want something too huge that would make the space look smaller. So I think we found the perfect option here. This was also the cheapest option that I found that I liked. I definitely need to like just sit with it a bit more and see how I fully feel. I need to decorate it also. I wanna put some coffee table books on there, make it look really nice and I need to figure out my pillow situation. I kind of just threw pillows on there that I already had and I don't like it, so I need to <laughs> figure this out. I'm gonna show you guys more of like a close-up view, so. The wood is really interesting. It's like mismatched, kind of stripey on the bottom. So my shades are finally in. It's a beautiful day because now I have a blackout shade, but I also have this nice sheer shade that I can put down if I prefer having more light in here. Here's what the sheer shade looks like. It's really quality. And then the blackout one is behind this. I'll have the company that I worked with on this linked in the description because if you're New York based, honestly, highly recommend working with them. All right, guys, cheers. We are at, yes, cheers to 70 degrees. And we just got chips and guac. I have to say, I feel like that might not be enough chips for us. <laughs> I know, and I'm like really intrigued that they're red. <laughs> yeah, so we got this. Yeah, we're gonna get some entrees and stuff, but we're starting our night here, and who knows where we'll go. What do you think? It tastes normal, okay. It's just for show. Cheers. We're having a night because it's 70 degrees, and you know what happens when it's good weather. Guys, it is a new day. I am getting my hair done in a few, well, like 15, 20 minutes. I have to walk over there now, but I am getting some inches off. We're gonna trim this up a little bit. I'm not sure how short I'm gonna go. It's gonna be a game time decision, but I could really use some inches off, some just more even color throughout. I need to like trim these up a little bit as well. Get a little bit of a, not a full curtain, but like just a little bit shorter, so probably some more angles around my face. So that is my plan with my hair. It's just like very dead right now. I love my hair long, but it's just like straw on the end. So I'm going to Cutler Salon in Soho and they're gonna clean me up. So yeah, I will document the after once something happens here. <laughs> Let's go. All right guys, my hair is done. It is darker, it is shorter. It looked a lot better until I got caught in the rain just now. Like it just started pouring out of nowhere, which is just so classic for New York spring. So it was like cute and styled and whatever. I am very happy with it. It looks really healthy. It's a really good length. I feel like it's not an awkward length. I feel if it was like a little bit shorter, it'd be like an awkward, like it's still like long, I guess like medium to long. So I really do like it. And it's just a really rich, dark brown, very shiny, like the same color throughout, which I really do like. I went to Cutler Salon in Soho, it was very adventurous thinking I could walk to and from, even though there's like scattered showers scheduled for today. And I got caught in a rainstorm, but that happens, you know, it happens. I really love just like the dark, natural looking color on me. I think it really just works with my complexion, with my eye color, things like that. I don't know. I'm really happy with this color. I feel like for so many years, I 
was just like denying my natural color. I would let myself have my natural hair color because I was convinced that like grass is always greener, obviously. I always wanted the blonde hair that my friends had, obviously to each their own, but I really do feel every time I dye my hair dark again, I'm just coming home to myself in a way.